In today's wrap-up, Armenia's total number of cases of COVID-19 reaches 136. $650,000 was raised in only three days to help the Armenian government's coronavirus response. The OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs have called on Armenia and Azerbaijan to refrain from provocations during the pandemic. And finally, the Armenian government announces limitations on the exports of certain goods. The number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Armenia has reached 136. Most of the cases have some connection to two epicenters identified by authorities, one being an engagement party in Ejmiadzin and the other being a factory in Yerevan's southern neighborhood of Shengavit. The number of additional cases being reported every day has decreased, however, compared to early last week and the previous weekend. All of the newly identified patients have now been hospitalized and are in stable conditions, according to the health ministry. The health ministry also revealed that one of the infected patients is a nurse working at the Nork Infectious Diseases Hospital, which is treating patients with COVID-19. On March 17th, the government opened the Treasury account for individuals and organizations that want to make a donation to aid the Armenian government with its response to the coronavirus outbreak. Over the past three days, over $650,000 were donated, with a total of 1,355 payments being made. On top of this, the Health Ministry announced yesterday that over 2,000 Armenians had volunteered to help authorities handle the coronavirus outbreak. The OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs, mediators that seek a peaceful settlement of the nagorno karabakh conflict, have urged both Armenia and Azerbaijan to refrain from provocative acts on the front line. Monitoring exercises by the OSCE on the line of contact have already been suspended due to, quote, the exceptional situation created by the spread of COVID-19. In a press statement, the group stated that both Armenia and Azerbaijan should dedicate their medical resources to combating the spread of the virus and treating those affected. The statement also read that although there are significant restrictions and disruptions right now, the co-chairs will continue mediation efforts and remain in close contact with both sides of the conflict. Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avignan stated that the export of certain goods will be temporarily limited due to the coronavirus outbreak. Avignan specified that certain medical products will not be exported at normal levels to avoid future shortages. The limitations on goods being exported will also apply to member states of the Eurasian Economic Union. Avignan stated that certain medical products may only be exported if the health ministry gives its approval. Civilnet spoke to Vahe Khachaturian, Assistant Professor of Epidemiology and Biostatistics at the American University of Armenia. Khachaturian spoke about the preventive measures the Armenian government is taking to prevent the spread of COVID-19, as well as how appropriate the response has been. Khachaturian did say that he thought the Armenian health authorities were generally responding appropriately, but did encourage citizens to also play a part in the response. And finally, due to the current state of emergency, many are working from home. Silvernet spoke to some citizens who shared their thoughts about this new lifestyle. They spoke about the many disadvantages and inconveniences working from home brings, as well as some of the unexpected perks that leaving office life behind has brought. <laughs>